Hey, what's up? It's Brianna. So today we're going to be trying out another one of the quads from Juvia's Place, and that is the Rebel Mint. And literally everybody has been telling me that I am sleeping on this one, I need to try it right away, and that it's also one of the best palettes that Juvia's has launched lately, which I'm really curious about. And also, like, the color story of this one just kind of reminds me of, like, whimsical mermaids in a way. I don't know what Wendy just got into, but I'm gonna go check that out. That little rat just knocked over all my laundry stuff, <laughs> like she made me a mess. But this palette though, it just has like a very like whimsical, almost like springish kind of vibe to it. Like I don't know how else to explain it, but it kind of reminds me of like mermaids and stuff like that. And again, with this palette we get two mattes and two shimmers in here. And again, if you'd like to see any of the other videos I have done using the quads, I'll have them all linked in the description box down below for you. So off camera, I did prime my eyes using my ABH eye primer, but the first shade I want to go in without the palette, I kind of want to go in with the green. And this is kind of like one of those like more like pastel kind of greens. It's not like a true green. And it does have like a slight bluish kind of tinge to it. I don't know if you can see it on my camera or not. It's really, really pretty. I'm just going to be taking it on this brush from Morphe. It's an M433. It's one of those like pinched little blending brushes. I'm just going to be popping that in my crease and ooh, ooh. Ooh, that added some pigment for a pastel. Again, I haven't really tried that many pastels from Juvia's, and also I don't think they have really launched that many in general. So I'm kind of curious to see how the formula of this palette's going to be. That's one thing I really like about these little Rebel quads is they all are kind of like a really unique vibe compared to their other palettes that they have launched. Other than the Rebel Honey palette, I feel like that one I have in my other Juvia's palettes. But the other three are just very, very different. But I'm just going to go in with a little bit more on my brush. And again, I'm kind of like loading it up. But dang, that is applying really nice. I will warn you, it is a little bit dusty when I apply it. Like, I can kind of see, like, you know, the particles kind of going up. But I don't feel like it's, like, over blending itself or acting, like, dusty on the eye. I am going to go in with a third layer, though, just because I'm kind of nosy. But I would consider this almost like a pastel seafoam green. But right away, it does have a good amount of pigmentation to it, but it is a little bit more on the buildable side, too. Like, don't get me wrong, like, the first layer, it does have some oomph to it, but if you want it to look like it does in the pan to have it, like, pizzazzy, I would definitely do three layers. So now I'm just going to go in with this kind of, like, bluish matte kind of color. Honestly, I wish that this palette had mattes. It makes my life so much easier, because then I could be like, oh, you know, you just use this shade right here kind of thing. But I'm just going to be loading up my brush. I'm again going to go in with one from Morphe. This is an M456. It's like a smaller version of the M433. Again, kind of like one of those pinch blending brushes. Ooh, this one's kind of giving me like ocean vibes in a way. But I'm going to pop it in that crease. Ooh, that's actually a really fun color. I do wish it was a little bit deeper than it is. Because again, I do like a lot of definition with my looks, so for me, I like things that are a little bit deeper because of it, but still a really pretty color. And I'm just going to do a second layer. Ooh, it actually does build up a little bit. Kind of reminds me of the seafoam green minty kind of color that we first used. So like the first layer, it gives you some pigment, but the more that you build it up, the richer that it gets. I will say, though, I wish that there was a little bit more differentiation between the green and the blue. Like, don't get me wrong, like, they're different, but I wish that the blue was a little bit deeper. Because, I don't know, like, having them next to each other, I feel like they're almost too close in tone. Now I'm just going to go back in with that brush that we applied the seafoam green with, with no additional, and I'm just going to run it around the edge. Again, I like the color. I just feel like it, if it was like two shades deeper, I think I would have liked it a little bit more. So now let's cut the crease. And I'm just going to do a half cut crease. Again, I'm just going to use that ABH eye primer because I kind of want to do like some spiciness on the outer edge with this palette being so pastel. I think it'd be really cute. And a half cut crease, I think is just going to complement it the best. I'm not too sure what I want to do yet, but I did like this really cool like celestial look over on TikTok the other day and I really liked it. And I kind of want to take inspiration from that. But I'm just putting a little bit of that ABH eye primer on the back of my hand. I'm just going to take this fine liner brush from Sigma. This is an E11. And I'm just going to take like the tiniest amount on it. Like just enough to coat the hairs. And then I'm just going to follow my natural crease and go slightly up. Now I'm not going to go the full way like I normally do. Like three-fourths of the way. I'm only going to go half. 
Then I'm just going to take a little bit more on this Anastasia number 18 and I'm just going to fill in everything underneath of that line. And you can kind of see when I'm doing this, I'm pressing it down because this will give it a little bit more coverage and it also will not disturb anything that we have underneath. So I just waited a little bit for that to dry down and I'm just going to kind of like feather the edge a little bit better. So I'm just going to go in with that blue matte on this tiny little shader brush from Luna Magic. And I'm just going to press it right on the edge. And again, when I'm doing this, I'm pressing it in just to make sure that it's all up in there and not disturbing anything underneath. So for the lid, I'm just going to go in with the bluish kind of shimmer shade. I will warn you, this one is a little bit crumbly in the pan. It's not terrible, but it might make a little bit of a mess if you're not careful with it. But I'm just going to be taking it on this little shader brush, and I am applying it dry. But, ooh, that, that is so pretty. Honestly, I feel like this shade could even make a really cool highlight. Like, if you had, like, a purple or, like, a pink blush, I don't know, like, I think that would be such a vibe. I'm just going to take a little bit more on my brush. Honestly, Juvia's has some of the best shimmer shades that I have ever used. Like, they actually work a lot better than even a lot of my high-end palettes. Like, I don't know what is up with their formula, but it's just amazing. And this is kind of like that wet sheen, super dimensional kind of effect. Like, if you like an intense shimmer, you're going to like this one. It's just, it's kind of crumbly, so I would actually recommend doing your eyes first with this one. You can kind of see it does give some fallout. I really feel like this look needs a little bit of spice to it, like just something to kind of like oomph it up a little. Because you can kind of see like the shimmer and the crease colors are very, very similar, and I just want something to kind of like differentiate the two. So I'm going to be going in with this uh, liquid liner from Makeup Revolution. This one's in the shade Sweet Lilac. I'm not too sure if this one cracks, I've never used it before. But it's like the prettiest like pastel purple, so I was like, why not use it? Because I was going to go in with white. I was going to use ColourPop's Graceland, which is one of the best white liquid liners I have ever used. Like, if you like a pen type, this one's bomb. But I don't know. I just feel like I need something a little bit more colorful. And also lately I've been using Graceland a lot. But what I'm going to do is just take the liner and follow right on the line that we created for the cut crease. You know, I'm going to do a wing liner with it too, because I mean, why not? And I feel like it's going to balance out the crease accent that way too. So this is where I'm at right now with the look, but let's start working on the lower lash line. And I'm just going to first like marry the top with the bottom, if you know what I mean. Like I want to make it look kind of cohesive. So I'm first going to go in with the bluish matte and pop it right underneath my eye. And I'm just using that brush that we used on the outer third because I mean, why dirty more brushes than you have to? And then I'm just gonna go in with that minty color, seafoam green kind of shade and buff out the edge. And this is a ES6 brush from Profusion. Just like a tiny little blender. And then lastly for the inner corner highlight, I'm just going to go in with the Lash Shimmer in the palette. And I actually apply this one as a highlighter today. I hope my camera is showing it, but it's like this pretty like iridescent, like greenish blue kind of shade. If you like colorful highlights, I really like this one. But I'm just going to be taking it dry on this little pencil brush from Luxie. This is a 217. See what I mean? It's just like this really like blinding, like lighter color, but it also has like that greenish blue kind of reflect to it. I'm just going to take a little bit more on my brush, just to make it a little bit more popping. I'm just saying I really like this shade, but I'm just going to take a little bit underneath the eye too, just to help open it up. Okay, this look is definitely reminding me of The Little Mermaid. I don't know if you get that vibe too, but it just like screams Ariel. But this palette, I will say, is a really nice quality palette. I just feel like it is a little bit limiting, and maybe that's because it's a quad. But, you know, even looking at the color story, you're not going to be able to do that many different kinds of looks with this one, especially if you're like me and you do tend to use, you know, a couple of mattes with your looks and a couple of shimmers. Because, again, the matte green-ish kind of like seafoam color and the blue are fairly similar in tone. Like, there isn't that much of a difference between the two when applied. Like, again, I do see, like, the blue and I do see the green, but... I just wish that that blue was just a little bit deeper. 
and also the blue matte shade and the blue shimmer are fairly similar too. Again, like the formulas are really nice, like the mattes in here, they have a really nice buildable formula. They're not like chunky or weird on the eye and they just look nice and smooth, especially for a pastel. And the shimmers in here are amazing, super blinding, and they have a lot of dimension to them. It's just, if you're somebody that is like me and you like a lot of definition with your looks, you're not gonna be able to get that with this palette and you will have to go in with something else. But yeah, so let me know in the comments down below what you think about this look and also let me know if I should use the Rebel Honey palette next or if I should take a break from the Rebel palettes and then use something else and then go back in with it. And also let me know which one of the quads is your favorite so far because again, I think the Army Green is my favorite. But before you go though, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on Instagram or TikTok, it's at Brianna Faye as well. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!